pick computer science video number 29 uh, so we're going to look at selection again or branching if you want to call it that and we're going to look at the if statement now in the last video we looked at how decisions are an important part of everybody's lives and an important part of computational thinking uh, and how we can sort of document decisions um, and we looked at other terms for decisions as well uh, now we're going to have a look at how they can be implemented in a high-level programming language. So we're going to use VB.NET. Uh, I'm going to show you the construct of a basic if statement, the basic way of applying a decision in a programming language. Definition of selection might be uh, a control structure in which options of statements are provided and a condition is used to decide which statement should be executed, if any at all. So an example might be the if statement. Now I've got a second button on my form which is going to calculate my wages but this time it's going to consider whether I've qualified for overtime or not. So I've got a break point on our first example of an if statement here. So the program's going to do the same before it's going to retrieve my hours worked and my rate of pay using input boxes but then it's going to decide have I worked less than or equal to 35 hours in which case I just get normal pay um, otherwise if I've worked more than 35 hours I qualify for overtime so that calculation will factor in uh, some overtime at time and a half 1.5 there so let's just run it and see that happen so I'm going to think I'm going to qualify for some overtime here so 40 hours okay that still only getting paid at £1.50 okay so when it hits here and I hit F11 it's going to test 40 against 35 so it's actually going to jump down to the else and it's going to pay me my overtime very nice too so this is how the construct might look like. Um, so if condition then instructions to be executed if condition is true otherwise instructions to be executed if condition is false. We saw an if then else statement. Sometimes you get the if then statement and that's when if the condition is true um, the, the next line is executed but there is no alternative um, option. So it just basically would come out of the if statement if the condition is false. You don't need to do anything if the condition is false with the with that second box there. So definition of if statement. If statements are a form of selection where a condition is used to determine the choice of statement to be executed. A condition is an expression that has a value of true or false. If true then the next instruction is executed, otherwise a different instruction may be executed. There are things called nested if statements where we can have an if statement, an if then else statement like the one in black there, but if the condition is true then we might need to test something else. So we have a nested if statement in blue there um, and you can nest as many as you like. It can get a bit messy um, to be able to read your code properly but that is something that you can do. So an example might be if somebody does qualify for overtime then they might get different rates of overtime depending on whether how long they've been with the company for instance. So you need to do a second test. Um, but that's just one example I've just made up on the spot. There are more meaningful examples. There's also something called the else if statement and that would be that sort of construct. If condition is true then instruction to be executed if condition is true else if condition then instruction to be, con to be executed if condition is true these actually these last three should say true that's a deliberate mistake um, that's what would happen with the else if statement it just does a check each time which leads on nicely so to summarize and um, the key things we'd need to know about selection uh, for an exam are Selection is a condition is used to determine 
which of the statements, if any, will be executed. And as a result, some instructions may not be executed. So if we imagine uh, a basic if statement, if condition is true, then instructions to be executed, if condition is true. Otherwise, instructions to be executed if condition is false. So the program flow would follow a different path. But if statements can be more simple than that, there doesn't have to be an else. Therefore, if the condition is not true in this second example, then um, no additional instructions are executed. We can ramp up the um, complexity of an if statement by introducing else ifs, where we can have more than two possible paths through our code. Hope you enjoyed if statements as part of selection. In the next video, we'll look at case statements as part of selection.